And remember, we talked about this when we talked in chapter two, in chapter three, we talked about true happiness. Mm -hmm. And I said that, you know, the insanity of my life, and I see it in other people, is I walk around all day thinking negative thoughts. I walk around all day beating myself up. I walk around all day, you know, hating my life and then wonder why I'm not happy. Right. And I don't do that. You know, I feel I feel like or, or I know I don't do that anymore. My day is not beating myself up, not having negative thoughts. None of that. So, uh, wow. Good. It's different. Yeah. Now, the only thing I would say to you is beware, because life what happens is for me, at least yeah. life becomes a little, a little more boring. And okay. the, the ego likes the drama. The ego likes a good fight. The ego mm -hmm. likes to feel unfairly treated. Course in Miracles says, beware the temptation to perceive yourself unfairly treated. And that was a huge trigger for me. For most of my, even today, you know, I can still be triggered by the fact that, oh, life is so unfair or the situation is so unfair or, you know, why me? Why is this happening to me? And we create that and, and we become addicted to the drama of that. And when things yeah. start going well, I was in a 12 step program and they used to call this, uh, what did they call it? Uh, stability boredom. So when things become too stable, when things become too good, we sabotage it because we have an addiction to the drama, to feeling bad. If you, if you uh, read any of Dr. Joe Dispenza's work, he talks about the fact that, that the body becomes addicted to negative emotions. And the body, the, the cells of our body, it's just like a drug. The cells of our body will send a message to our brain saying, come on, just give me a little bit of that adrenaline. Just give me a little bit of that self-pity. Just give me a little bit of that feeling victimized by life. And it becomes like withdrawal from a drug. So I just mentioned that. That may or may not be true for you or anybody else, but I've noticed it in myself. So when things start to get good, you know, don't be surprised if some of the old feelings come up and it's like tempting us to go back to the way it used to be because we have an addiction to that. There is a physiological chain, the horm uh, change, the hormones and chemicals in our body are triggered by our emotional responses. And when you have years and years and years of feeling victimized and feeling self-pity and feeling angry and feeling unloved, you know, the body becomes used to that. No, I, I can understand that. And yes, I think the big uh, thing for me would be just be aware, be aware of that. That's exactly what I was going to say. So it's yes. all about awareness now. I've been saying mm -hmm. from day one, we have to be conscious and present in each moment. And when those negative thoughts come up, if we're not aware of them, then we're going to immediately go down that rabbit hole and start reacting rather than responding. We talked a lot about the difference between reacting and responding. So we want to be present. We want to be aware. We want to be on the lookout for when those old thoughts start coming in or those old feelings. A lot of times we're not aware of the thoughts, but remember our thoughts lead to our feelings. Our feelings lead to our words and actions and our words and actions lead to the outcomes that we experience in life. So when I notice the negative emotions, it's like, oh, wait a second. So I know that the thoughts come first. So what are the negative thoughts that I've been thinking that, you know, I need to begin to reprogram? So be, being aware, being present, being in the moment, um, you know, I've recommended to all you guys, you know, find an action partner, find somebody that you talk to on a daily basis where you check in with them in the morning or in the evening and you have a plan, you know, oh, God, I have this meeting today and <clears throat> I'm always triggered by this person. Can I role play with you? And you role play the meeting with that other person. So when the meeting comes up later in the day, you're ready. You're not so apt to slip into that old behavior and produce the same results. Again, the insanity is we think the same thoughts, feel the same feelings, speak the same words, and, and take the same actions all day, and then wonder why our life isn't changing. 